Welcome back to episode 5 of the motor and battery build. Uh, in this episode I am going to uh, focus on moving the battery pack forward a little bit because I want them to be ready at the same time so I can use the battery pack uh, for the testing of the motors. So I focused on making these bus bars, these uh, thumb nuts that I will need for the bus bars and also these isolators, uh, a female and a male that will help me to connect it all up. So uh, let's get it on. To help with some of the parts in question, I have got myself a new toy. So it's a Bamboo Lab P1S. So I thought uh, let's do an unboxing of that one to uh, see what you get. So the first thing I ordered, uh, or what I ordered separately, was this uh, plastic PLA basic, the filament. So we can just have a look at that. That looks like this. Put that to one side. And we have the actual printer itself. So let's see. So it seems to be well packed, which is nice. To save me lifting, I'm going to cut this side open. Quick start, I like that. This a package of loads of accessories that I guess I need to put together. That's been packed in nicely as well. There's more stuff in there, and not sure if that's just the drying stuff. That's the build plate leave that like that and I'm gonna leave like that that so so that seems to be it so what I'm gonna do now is actually put it together but I'm gonna do that on the hyperlapse Okay, so I think the printer has been assembled and calibrated and this is the first test print that comes with the actual, the actual machine. Uh, it's probably going to take a while, so um, I'll get back to you when the result is done and you can see what came out. Okay, here's the result, and I am super impressed. It took 20 minutes to print this. It is way above any quality that I need for any part I'm intending to make. And uh, yeah, this just opens up so many possibilities. It's, it's amazing. I can't believe I waited this long to actually get one. So uh, yeah, fantastic. Thank you. 
So with the thumb nut printed, I can now insert a little nut the top here and also fix that with a little bit of glue and we have an M8 thumb nut. So you just need to print more of these. So with the isolators printed, I now have a male and a female, which uh, screws into each other like uh, that. And then I can put a, an M8 bolt on this side and an M8 bolt on this side. So when it's put onto the actual battery board, um, I can screw together and have two attachment points that are not conductive because we have the plastic in the middle. So that's the idea. So for the isolators, uh, the female and the male, I have glued two M8 bolts at the end of each of them. I think they're at roughly 22 millimeter uh, in height from the head uh, and up to the point. That's roughly what I need. So that gives me a, a female and a male, which I now can attach to the, to the board. So I think we have roughly uh, yeah, 28 of those as well. of the uh, time it takes uh, I have left this as a normal video speed and I am printing the spacers it's just a one millimeter m8 spacer in the ABS plastic So print 0.2 millimeter per sliced layer. So every time it goes over, it just does 1.2 millimeters and it keeps building up. So it's actually pretty fast. That's that. That's a one millimeter M8 spacer. And once taken off the board, it looks something like this. So the uh, bus bars, or I don't know if you can call them bus bars because they're made out of cable, uh, are made of the uh, 35 uh, millimeter two, 240 amp normal uh, kind of cable I guess it's the same as you have for for your car battery and similar other jump jump leads um, and I've cut these into uh, roughly 68 millimeter lengths and they then looks like this and I've then taken off 18 millimeter at the top here and 18 millimeter on the other side and then crimped a uh, a, uh, an end to both sides and then taking a little bit of shrink tube 30 millimeter on each side to make a uh, positive and a negative end and I forgot to show that this is uh, this is the result so I think we'll have roughly 24 of these 28 of these so 
So it is time to put all of these onto the battery backboards. So I will speed that up a little bit because it probably take a little while to do it. So we'll do that in uh, hyperlapse. So with that we have an almost complete circuit where we're going from the BMS negative or well, positive that's actually the positive positive to positive positive to negative and it keeps on going between positive and negative as a chain all the way through down here there will be a copper bolt that goes straight through that continues the series connection on the opposite side so this is the other battery pack so this is the, the opposite side so you can see so it will come out as positive connecting to negative at this pack and then carry up doing positive and negative all the way up all the way to the last point which will be negative and then the negative will bridge to a copper point that goes straight through here and that actually will then come out here and connect at this point here and that will be that will be the complete 14 s 14 cells in series which will then give me the uh, the voltage that i need um, so yeah in sweden we have a saying and it goes like this and it means that when your head is stupid your body will suffer guaranteed and that's exactly what's happened with this I've connected all of these incorrectly. So I'm gonna reconnect them so that they actually work as intended. And I'm not gonna bore you with that. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Uh, it needs to be positive to positive, positive to negative. So all of this would work, all my color codings that I've done that will help me in the future to know what's what, it's incorrect. So I'm gonna swap it around. Okay, now we have positive to negative, negative to positive, positive to negative, negative to positive, and so on, all the way through the chain. So we have that 14 jumps from positive to negative, and it should now be correct. Uh, obviously, you will have the same on the other side. So uh, that will be it for today, because I think I've done enough. Thank you for watching this fifth episode. Um, if this was the first time you saw this channel and you want to see it from the beginning, you will have the first episode up here somewhere. If you have any questions, stick them in the comments and I will respond within 24 hours. And uh, if you'd like to see the continuation, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.